Welcome to the Lake Martin Sports Roundup presented by JR Sports Bar and Grill. Brett Pritchard and Sonny Wilson out here. Now I want to welcome up Lee Shockley. And, uh, again, I'm talking about a guy that uh, another one of these coaches that from one sport to the next, Sonny, that just, you know, hops from season to season. And every time uh, there's a ball rolled out on a court or on a diamond or on a football field, he's part of it. But, again, that's what makes these youth leagues is guys like Lee and guys like Chris that, that want to be involved, that want to help. And it doesn't necessarily have to be their child that they're helping. They want to be involved. Yeah, these guys, you know, they're in it for the right reasons, help all the kids that are in it. Lee does uh, baseball, he does football, he does uh, basketball, and if we start does another sport, I'm going to have him in that. Uh, <laughs> rugby. He, rugby, yeah. whatever. He, he could do it. We're talking about snowboarding, so maybe I, we can get him in that. Well, you know, we, we were we were just telling, you know, he, he we were talking about snow skiing before this. You know, snow skiing is so easy to Lee now, he had to switch over and yeah. do something a little bit tougher. He's and, getting uh, ready for the X uh, That's what happens with these professionals. you you got to do something that will challenge you a little bit more. But, uh, Lee, I uh, appreciate you being up here with, uh, with your team and all. And, again, I, I know you uh, – you have a passion for sports and, and, and watching these kids grow up. Yeah, thanks. We uh, enjoy being here and uh, just enjoy being around the kids and uh, and uh, they teach me and it teaches me as much as I'm teaching them. <laughs> we, we do learn a lot. And I think Sonny can exactly. attest to that. Hey, I learn every year in baseball season. It, it's amazing how much more I learn uh, from right. these kids. <laughs> they teach you a lot of things. <laughs> they uh, watch a lot of ESP they, and they know it now. <laughs> and, and, and they and be amazed how they'll come up and they'll, they'll tell you what they feel like is the better situation. Yep. You may coach – uh, something for one particular situation, they go, Look, I, why don't we try it this way? That's right. And so uh, they're not afraid to tell you that, but uh, that, that just shows you that they're into it. But Lee, Lee's also uh, here involved in the 9- and 10-year-old league. And, uh, son, I'm going to kick it down there to you and let you uh, let them introduce themselves. All right, guys, give me your name and your position. And girls. My name is Trey Shockley, and I play point guard. My name is Omar Graham, and I play shooting guard. My name is Larry, and I play forward. My name is Kay McGee, and I play small forward. I got one, more. got one more over here. I'm Jacoby Smith, and I play center. All right. I, I could tell he played center because uh, he's up here about as tall as me and Lee. <laughs> so uh, uh, that, that, that talk about your team a little bit, Lee. And, uh, you know, again, I, as I asked Chris just a minute ago, kind of what you do on a on a, on a routine and, and practice and game-wise and stuff. Yeah. Uh, got a good group here. we uh too short tonight, but uh, got a really good group. Just uh, – we try to keep it simple. We're not running the triangle offense or anything <laughs> like the Lakers, but just trying to teach them the basics. Uh, we run, you know, just the base high five zone offense and the base two three uh, defense, and uh, just try to keep it as simple as we can. We don't we run a bunch of plays. Just try to get one or two and pound it in them, get them doing it right, and uh, just keep it fun. That's right, keeping it fun, and uh, hopefully they they're learning something. Uh, so. When as they move on, the next coach won't be mad at me because they don't know anything <laughs> what's going on. I'm just like I said, they're they're uh, they're teaching me as much as I'm teaching them. I hope so. We're having fun and uh, really enjoying it. They, the the uh, with the having on we had we have seven so playing mm-hmm. time's not an issue, man. They every one of them's tongues hung out at the end of the game. That's right. They all get plenty of plenty of playing time. So uh, so we really had a. Had a good time so far this year. You know, Brett, that's one thing I'd like to mention, Lee said, about having seven. This year we decided to cut our numbers down smaller per team. So all our kids will get plenty of play. I like that. In the past, you know, we've had probably ten kids or so on the team. And when you play running clock, it's hard to get them a lot of playing time. So, you know, we've done that. We met with the parents and let them understand if we do this, it takes a commitment from them. they got to be there. You need to show up. If you don't, we don't have enough to play, and it's a forfeit. So we've been lucky that the parents have done their part, coaches doing their part, and these kids have got plenty of playing time this year. Well, if you sign again, it, no, no different than what we talked about with nutrition. I mean, kids are – they can only do what we put in front of them yep. or we allow them to do, and if – you know, parents have the responsibility of getting the kids to the gym, uh, to the games, to the practices, to co- to compete. And if if one or two, like you said, don't show up, it hurts everybody. The whole yes. team suffers, and and so it's a responsibility on everybody's back. It's a, it's a true team sport. But uh, uh, again, I, I like that because 
you know, you think about we all play youth sports, and if you were a kid that, that had to sit for a long time, you get disinterested in that sport, and you go, well, you know, I don't want to go out and play that game yep. anymore. And, and you go to something else, and and, and me and Wynn Fletcher, the, the baseball coach at Cat, were talking about this the other day. It doesn't, even ma- it doesn't matter what level it is, even if it's at college. If you're a college baseball player, football player, and you become disinterested, you're going to leave. You're going to get out. It doesn't matter exactly. if you're on scholarship or not. And so. there's so much nowadays they can do. They can go home play basketball on TV yeah, all night long. Exactly. You got you got it's harder now to make them enjoy coming to games and practice. And these coaches, you know, they do a great job with it. None of our kids, you know, they don't quit. They come in. So that means they're having fun. Well, I, you know, I'll kind of give away our answer on the trivia question that we got. Right, go we didn't get a call on it. But <laughs> what we were referring to is a, is a cell phone. And, you know, I think you can group uh, iPads and, and any kind of other electronic device, Xbox, yep. any kind of video games in there because, you know, uh, the, if we were based, if we were doing athletic events based on our thumbs, we all would be probably all stars. And, but we, we do get caught up and if we had to log the amount of hours a day that, that we are, that we spend on a, on an electronic device, whether it's a phone or, or, or doing something, uh, you'd probably be shocked at yourself at how much time. So you, you're competing. Not only is it competitive on other things, you're competing truly now against other avenues that yep. kids can do and go down. And it, it, the more and more electronic devices that flood the market, the more the more competition it is for these kids to go, you know, I ain't really interested in that. I don't want to play that yeah. sport. That's so, exactly right. So, uh, again, our trivia question didn't go over too well. So now, well, or we, it was a good one. Wasn't it was nobody a good one. Well, we stumped They couldn't read our minds, so what does that tell you? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I I, they all gave up real quick. That's exactly what happened. But uh, uh, 256-234-6221. To be part of the show, Lee. Appreciate you coming out. Appreciate you bringing you. Your, bringing your Thank team you. out. You got a, a great looking team out here. And uh, uh, again, if you want to get your child involved in in basketball or any other sport that's coming up down the line, make sure you give uh, Sonny a call at Out City Parts and Rec, and they'll make sure they take care of you. Stay tuned. More of the Late Martin Sports Roundup presented by JRs right after this. All clear. <laughs> 